This is the Basecamp SF999 Smart Helmet. Basecamp are a company that specializes in e-skateboards and scooters, and they were kind enough to send me their latest helmet for review. However, they've not had any input over what I say in this video. I'm also going to be giving away this helmet to one subscriber, so make sure you watch to the end to find out how to enter the giveaway. On the rear of the helmet, you can find the smart lighting with an integrated right rear light along with the controllable left and right turn signals. The inside of the helmet is lined with removable padding and you can also see what Basecamp call their wind tunnel ventilation, which is essentially four holes in the helmet to allow for air to pass through. Inside the included pouch, you will find the Bluetooth remote controller for the turn signals and music along with a manual, a USB-C charging cable, a battery for the remote, and a small screwdriver for installing the battery with. There is also an included carrying case with the Basecamp logo on it, which is handy if you want to keep your helmet clean and scratch-free. On the underside of the helmet, there are two buttons. The first button is the pairing button, and the second button is the on-off switch. There is also a built-in microphone. On each side of the helmet, you can also find the built-in speakers. And finally, at the back of the helmet is the tightening dial, which features a fast release system, which releases when you pull up on the dial. On the remote, there are left and right turn signal buttons, along with volume control and a play pause button. Turn it over and you can find four screws that can be loosened so you can change the battery. Connecting your phone is fairly straightforward. Power on. Bluetooth mode. You turn the power on and the helmet will tell you it is in Bluetooth mode. On your phone you will see SF999 when you look to pair a new device. Once you click pair, the helmet will confirm that it is paired. Device paired. To connect the remote, you need to turn the power on and power click on. the pair button. Bluetooth mode. The green LED will flash letting you know that device the helmet paired. is ready to pair with the remote. Hold down the left and right buttons for around 5 seconds and then let go. When the green light stops flashing, you know you have successfully paired the remote to the helmet. The blue LED means that your phone is connected via Bluetooth, and the green LED means that the remote is connected. There is also a charging indicator LED in the middle. Holding down the pair button for 3 seconds turns on the rear light. Once the light is turned on, you're able to activate the left and right turn signals with the remote. Pressing the middle button will play or pause your music. And of course, you also have volume controls for the speakers. So, it's time to put the helmet on, attach the remote to my bike, and take it out for a ride. Okay, so here are my thoughts on the SP999 Smart Helmet. Firstly, the fit is great and the helmet is lightweight and comfortable. The adjustment dial on the back feels more secure than most helmets I've used due to its locking mechanism. And the fast release works well once you figure out how to use it. Once you've connected both your phone and the remote, the smart features on this helmet work great. One thing to consider is where you place the remote on your handlebars. On my bike, there's not much space directly next to the handles, so I had to place mine closer to the middle, which meant the remote controls were not as easy to reach, and it required me to take a hand off of my handles in order to use the controls. This is not a huge deal, but it did mean that using the remote to change music or trigger the turn signals was not as smooth as I would have liked. The speakers on this helmet are not amazing, which is probably to be expected given the size of them. They are helpful when you are using the turn signals, as they give a verbal notification that the turn signal is on. However, when it comes to listening to music, I would much rather use my earphones so that I can get better audio quality. Overall, I'm impressed with this smart helmet. I think if you are someone who rides a lot in the evening or nighttime, then you're going to find the turn signal LED function really helpful. 
The helmet costs $120, however you can use the code HELLO to get 5% off. I've included a link in the description below, which also helps me out when you use it. Finally, I'm giving away this helmet to one lucky subscriber. To enter the giveaway, all you need to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. Once the video hits 100 likes, I'll choose someone at random and we'll be sending you this helmet. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.